Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com for premium picks, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. This video is really only geared to hardcore gamblers, risk takers. You know who you are. This is not geared for the casual fan, right? This is not geared for people who don't get hedge betting and who, you know, want to follow the crowd, right? This is not for you. This is for the group, rather, that's looking for active underdogs, people that the press has overlooked, betting scenarios where even if they don't know who's going to win, they understand that if they put the bet in place, they stand a good chance of making money. Now to those high risk individuals, if you're still listening, right, to everyone else I say stop the video here. Let's not go forward, let's part company. Right, if you can't figure out how to read odds and hedge bet, this is not for you. But if you know what I'm talking about, let's continue. Let's talk about Wimbledon. The way I see Wimbledon is that four guys are left standing. This is the men's side. Four. And understand, of those four, you have Andy Murray. And you have three guys. Three guys who beat him the last time they played. Right? In my opinion, Andy Murray at plus 175 on the Wimbledon futures option is the bet you need to throw out the window. Don't take that bet. Murray has a lot of things going for him. Grass is his favorite surface. He is playing before the home crowd. He did win the London Olympic Games. He's the gold medal winner on grass at home. But here's what you need to know. He's not a closer. Simply put, he's not even playing good tennis. His last match, he lost the first two, two sets. He hardly looked dominant. He has all the talent in the world, but he's failed in finals. Let's talk about it. 2008, U.S. Open. He makes the finals. He loses to Roger Federer. Granted, it's on a hard surface, but the bottom line is he lost, right, in straight sets. The 2010 Australian Open. On a hard surface, he lost to Roger Federer. Again, in straight sets. The 2011 Australian Open. He lost to Novak Djokovic, again, in straight sets. 2012, Wimbledon, last year, against his nemesis, Roger Federer, grass surface. He comes out and he wins the first set. He then loses the next three. He broke through in the 2012 U.S. Open against Novak Djokovic on a hard surface spirited match that went five sets. But you need to realize that, of course, when the two of them met this year at the Australian Open, Djokovic came back and beat him in four sets. Simply put, Andy Murray has more talent than accomplishments. I believe he just doesn't know how to close the deal on the biggest stage. Now given that reality, I believe that these odds are skewed. You're getting Djokovic at better than two to one odds. He's a minus 154, right? You're getting Del Potro at 14 to one odds. Bet a dollar to win 14 in profit. Right? Understand too, Jankowicz, 
you're getting 16 to 1 odds. Right now, Del Potro, Jankovic, and Djokovic have all beaten Murray. Right? They all beat him the last time they faced him. So the bet I'm recommending, and it's high risk, is on the Wimbledon futures right now. If you simply eliminate Murray, and if you structure the bet so that most of your money is on Djokovic, right? The point I'm making to you is you can set up the play so that if any of these three guys win, Del Potro, Jankowicz, or Djokovic, you profit, right? It's a minus 154 on Novak. It's 16 to 1 on Jankowicz. It's 14 to 1 on Del Potro, right? I say eliminate Murray. Murray, in my opinion, after a draining five-set win in his last match where he lost the first two sets, is not mentally prepared to close the show right in majors he's below 500 in finals right against men who have beaten him and some of these guys Jankowicz for example is on the rise some of these guys seem to be on the ascent not descent right I just don't believe Murray is going to be able to beat them right even if Murray gets to the finals if it's against Djokovic, I think Novak will have the mental edge. If it's against Del Potro, I think Del Potro is playing better tennis right now than Andy Murray. But understand the risk involved. If Murray rises to the occasion and, of course, gets over the hump in a tournament that he got to the finals in last year, you lose it all. Right? This is high risk. Right? But understand, you have a chance here to make huge odds and to further hedge the play. Should the 14 to 1 or 16 to 1 long shot pull the upset in the semis heading into the finals? Give it a look. My advice is simply. Take everyone but Andy Murray. The odds right here allow it. And let me just point out, if you can't figure out how to make these odds work in your favor, should someone other than Andy Murray win Wimbledon, don't complain to me. You need to hit the books, figure out the math, sketch out alternate scenarios involving different risk profiles and different amounts bet on each player. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at DwyerSportsBetting.com. Thanks for stopping by.